This is Ken Mapp, candidate for governor. Today is Labor Day and I join with my running mate, Osbert Potter, as we salute all of the hard-working men and women of our Virgin Islands. Here on our islands, we know that Labor Day is a time to reflect on the sacrifices of workers by examining the past and present and working hard to forge a better future. I want to begin by applauding all workers who work to make the Virgin Islands a better place. Many of you who work hard to take care of and serve and protect us and our visitors belong to various labor unions. I know the importance of our unions and I understand the struggles of those who work day in and day out to provide for their families. Today, these struggles are more challenging as workers and their families face the highest cost of living in the Virgin Islands. My union experience remains the foundation upon which I have built my three decades of public service. As a senator, I supported legislation assisting employees locked out by employers during labor negotiations. I sponsored laws improving retirement benefits for our first responders and reforms to our financial industry that helped to lower interest rate for consumers. As head of a government department, I worked hard to remove thousands of tons of expired food and medical products from store shelves that our residents were being exposed to. As lieutenant governor, I fought to educate and protect consumers by making sure all legitimate Hurricane Maryland claims were paid, and I wrote and enforced an administrative order preserving the health insurance coverage for more than 30,000 Virgin Islanders. As your governor, I will continue to make the plight and struggles of workers and consumers a top priority of my administration. On this Labor Day, as we pause to honor workers, we must also remember our entrepreneurs and small business owners who create jobs and help to drive our economy in what has been a most difficult environment. I am also fortunate to have had hands-on experience in business that has given me strong insights into promoting economic development in the territory. I know what it means to struggle to make payroll every week and how to fight to keep the doors open. I have represented my business clients before regulatory bodies, ensuring that they remained open, keeping their employees employed, and satisfying the requirements of government. These experiences has given me a better understanding of the day-to-day -day struggles facing our small business community. As your governor, I will continue to break down the barriers for small business owners who are important drivers of our economy. My running mate, Osbert Potter, also brings significant experience in both the private and public sectors. Senator Potter has served with the U.S. Virgin Islands National Guard since 1985, and he has taught technology courses at the University of the Virgin Islands, educating thousands of young people for local technology jobs. Mr. Potter owned and operated his own local business which was successful and remains in operation today. He has worked in the banking industry. He has served as president of the United Way. He was commissioner of the Department of Licensing and Consumer Affairs, and he recently served as the executive director of our own PBS WTJX Channel 12. Mr. Potter has helped to develop new businesses which opened the doors to new employment opportunities in our territory. Osbert and I know that one issue, more than any other, is crippling our economy economic growth, robbing our community of jobs, bankrupting our businesses, burdening our families, and that issue, that single issue, is the high cost of electricity. Our goal in office would be to help WAPA become more efficient and eventually generate electricity with 100% renewable resources. Not only would this generate cheaper and cleaner energy, but it will give us a pathway to grow our economy and create jobs. Under my watch as governor, I pledge to you that it will be a time to build. A time to build a labor market that honors our workforce and acknowledges the qualification and expertise of our workers. As we look towards our future, we cannot forget the struggles and sacrifices of workers gone before us. Leaders with courage who sacrificed personally and worked hard on our behalf. David Hamilton Jackson organized the first labor union in 1913 and successfully fought for higher wages and fair working conditions. We remember D. Hamilton Jackson every year on Labor Liberty Day, November 1st, but we must remember him today, Labor Day as well. I believe this election will be the most important election of our lifetime.
A vote for Matt Potter is a vote for solutions backed by deep management experience and an ability to bring back jobs as we grow and expand our economy. I'm asking you to support me as I work to become your next governor on November 4th. Vote for change. Ken Mapp for governor and Osbert Potter, lieutenant governor. Number three on your ballot. Paid for by the Matt Potter campaign. <laughs>